eco-efficient transport and modern energy solutions. As fossil fuels become scarcer and more expensive, and as the threat of climate change increases, we must consider alternatives for energy and transport. This is a task for STOA, the Parliamentary Science and Technology Options Assessment Body, which provides independent scientific advice to the European Parliament. STOA carries out projects that assess policy options from a scientific and technological perspective. STOA has examined opportunities for eco-efficient transport with a lower environmental impact and potential energy solutions to decrease Europe's dependence on oil and tackle climate change. Eco-efficient transport is good for economic growth, but an increase in urban traffic can be detrimental for health, quality of life and the environment. 80% of European citizens live in urban environments, so urban transport is a significant proportion of total mobility. STOA's 2012 study on technology options in urban transport suggested three strategies for more efficient transport systems. First, implementing cleaner technology that is less carbon intensive. Second, a shift among users towards more environmentally friendly means of transport. And third, the need to travel must be reduced, for example by encouraging virtual accessibility to the workplace with technology like video conferencing. It is not yet clear which technology option will become the best solution. Hydrogen, methanol, biofuels and electric vehicles all face barriers. The European transport system relies too heavily on petrol and diesel-fueled cars with high greenhouse gas emissions. To examine alternatives, STOA hosted the workshop Portfolio of European Green Cars Project in May 2011. This emphasized the need for energy-efficient and electric vehicles. Industry representatives introduced projects on electric mobility, efficiency gains in conventional technology, and optimizing traffic and logistics. A 2014 study on methanol found that the main challenge for its widespread use as a fuel is developing efficient processes for capturing carbon dioxide and turning it into methanol, preferably without using hydrogenation to add hydrogen, which requires additional energy input, probably from non-renewable resources. STOA's 2011 study, Future Metal Demand from Photovoltaic Cells and Wind Turbines, concluded that the supply of raw materials may not keep up with the demand for these renewable alternatives. Current recycling rates are low and substitution possibilities are limited. As these technologies have long lifespans, increased demand would require raw material extraction with major consequences, including greenhouse gas emissions. Technological alternatives are needed, as bottlenecks in supply risk disrupting efforts to tackle climate change. The electricity system must use energy efficiently and ensure security of supply. Stoa's study on smart grids examined a possible approach. Electricity grids are smart if they foresee shortages or surpluses and respond accordingly. Smart grids are important as we increasingly rely on electricity provided by renewable sources dependent on weather conditions like solar power. The study emphasized that technology, regulation, business, economics and society all need attention. Making transport and energy sustainable will require not just new technologies, but also lifestyle and behavior changes. If you want to find out more about STOA's work, visit our website. STOA is now looking forward to continuing to serve European policymaking during the eighth parliamentary term.